Hello everyone, Ian here again, and today I am going to be unboxing uh, my latest drone, which is the Parrot Mambo FPV Mini Drone. FPV stands for first person view for those that don't know. The idea with FPV racing uh, or flying is that you actually have goggles and the only thing you can see is the drone's perspective. So inside the box you've got instructions, you've got the goggles that your smartphone will fit into to provide the actual screen. Uh, you have the drone itself. You also have its controller little 720p camera unit the battery which is a fairly standard sized battery and charging cable so as you can see it's a lot smaller than most drones Mavic is small enough as it is um, when you compare the body of the Mavic to the body of the Mambo, you can see that you're in a completely different league of droning again. So another consideration that pushed me towards the Para is the fact that uh, like most mini drones, this has no GPS. Now the bigger drones like the Mavic and the Phantoms, uh, they have GPS obviously so that they lock where you took off from. They also help stabilize the drone when you're flying. So if you take your hands off the controls, it uses the GPS and uh, will not drift. Mini drones don't have that, but the Parrot does have uh, both forward and, uh, well, horizontal and downward facing sensors that help stabilize the flight. So, um, this should be ready to fly out of the box. Battery is a very standard little battery. Um, it just slots in the back, clips into place, starts firing up the little orange lights, flashing green. So the camera just slots into place. And again, you have a little flashing green light there. Now you can fly just by the remote control. There you go, that's green. <clears throat> and that's green, so it's actually locked up. I could do the stupid thing now and just try and fly it. Let's see what happens. Well, look at that. That's impressive. Has a little automatic takeoff. Come down, little drone, come down. So, like I said, normally I would not condone flying inside, but um, this little boy is actually designed to fly inside. Ooh, no, stay away from my. All right, down you go. Thank you. Well, that was quite easy. Um, right, as you can see, this is a drone that is designed for uh, beginners like me. Um, it defaults to easy mode. You have a nice little takeoff and landing. I want to do that again. That was just good fun, that was. And there we go. <laughs> so the controls are pretty much the same as what you're used to if you've been flying any other. So the left stick is up and down and rotates and then the right stick goes forward and backwards or sideways and if I just land like that oh look at that automatic landing and automatic shut off I think I'm gonna have good fun with this just uh, a quick point on the free flight uh, app there's been quite a few complaints that it's not very stable, it, it loses the connection with the Mambo. Uh, some people even reported it's lo lost the connection in the middle of flying. Um, there is a simple reason for that and there's a fairly simple solution. Your phone is connected to the Mambo via Wi-Fi. Your phone will also normally try and connect to your home Wi-Fi. And if the Mambo's Wi-Fi field drops out for a split second, your phone will just jump straight back and rejoin your home network. So the simple solution is to go into your network settings and forget your home Wi-Fi network. I know that's a bit of a pain because you'll have to put in your home password again when you want to go back, but um, if you do forget the home network in your system settings, then it will stay locked onto your Mambo's Wi-Fi without any issues whatsoever. So in order to do FPV flying, what you're going to do is actually turn on the Mambo, you're going to control it with the pad and use your phone uh, in the app 
uh, as the screen for your actual um, your, your FPV view. So what you're actually looking for is this little icon here, which is a switch to FPV. This will only be illuminated if the control pad is connected, is switched on and connected as well. Now, before we actually go into VR, another good tip is if you've got um, auto brightness adjust, untick it and set it at a, uh, a brightness you're happy with. Because again, the moment you actually put your phone inside the VR, you're gonna be covering the light sensor on your phone and the phone screen will dim. Anyway, tap the VR, you get this uh, split view. The idea is that it just literally clamps in there, clips in place, put it on. I know you look like a bit of a donkey. Now this is really hard because you, you're constantly flipping between looking down to grab the, the uh, control and then looking through the actual display so that you get to see what the drone is seeing. See how we get on. Take off. So what you can do as well is cheat if you're inside and actually just have it on your head. Fly, this really needs to be going outside. So well, let's go for a little walk, shall we, and see what happens. So let's see if I can do a little lap. Okay. Oh, there we go. So on this uh, chilly January morning, uh, I'm going to uh, try this outside and uh, first of all I'll fly it like a regular drone and then I will try the moggle uh, the go hello yes I'll try the goggles and uh, I think he uh, he recognizes the setup here he's, he's, he's waiting for trouble yes yes so uh, and then I will try the FPV mode and uh, we'll see how I get on flying it uh, that way as well and hopefully Ted won't uh, go to bananas. So I said, I'm going to take off and fly in uh, regular mode now. This is a different kettle of fish, just literally. There we go. So he's um, just like a regular drone. So despite him not having GPS, um, he's pretty stable actually. If I move, he kind of moves with me. Uh, I think it's the optical sensors kind of try and track whatever's around it basically. So I'm not touching the controls, but he, uh, he moves. Anyway, let's uh, try FPV. Put on the goggles. Okay, this is mad. Can't see what I'm doing. Okay, let's go flying. Okay, that makes sense. Don't want to hit the trees. Turn around. So the uh, video is a little bit jumpy, but uh, I can see what I'm doing. There's me. There's the dogs. Wow, okay. Mad perspective. Ted, hunting moles. Don't hit the tree. This is a very different way of flying.
No, I've hit the tree. That's it. Okay. So there you go, that was my first flight, and uh, I have to say, that was uh, really good fun. Uh, when you're flying it like a normal drone, um, it behaves pretty much as you'd expect. The range is definitely way, way, way shorter than what I'm used to, certainly on even the Phantom uh, 3. <clears throat> I mean, literally, you're talking about 25, 30 meters tops, 30 yards. Um, bit disappointed, I hit the tree, and it suffered its first injury. One of the little um, hulls, the uh, prop protectors, has broken. I would have kind of hoped it would have been a little bit more robust, but these things are designed to be replaced very easily by um, replacement protectors and replacement propellers in uh, in packs of 10. Uh, that's basically the nature of the game. The prop protectors do uh, allow it to bounce off walls rather than hitting a wall and crashing. Um, it, it's got the camera, it's got the remote, it's got the drone and it's got the goggles. So it really has got the entire package that you need to get into this, uh, into this area of droning. So all in all, um, I have to say, very happy. I'll be uh, posting some more videos as I get on with this. And uh, as ever, have fun, happy flying.